Edward Higgins White II, born in San Antonio, Texas, November 14, 1930, was destined to become a hero of the American space program. With a bachelor's degree from West Point and a master's from the University of Michigan, White's military career was spent in the air, from Florida to Germany, from Edwards Air Force Base to Wright-Patterson. As a test pilot, Ed White brought the right stuff. The 1950s and 1960s brought about a race that would change humanity forever. White, along with such noteworthy names as Shepard, Glenn, Collins, Armstrong, Aldrin, were members of these early groups of pilots turned astronauts, some of whom were also West Point grads. We kind of called him a straight arrow, and that, that's what he was. He was directed toward what the objective uh, really was. After humankind reached space in 1961, the race continued. What would it take to exit the craft, to step out, to survive in a small, single-person spacecraft, the spacesuit in this vacuum of space? June 3, 1965, on a launch pad in Florida, Ed White and James McDivitt suited up to find out. At 2.46 p.m. Eastern Time, Ed White stepped out of Gemini 4, becoming the first American to exit a spacecraft in orbit and walk in space, and the first human to control his own movement via pressurized air. Capcom, it's very easy to maneuver with the gun. The only problem I have is I haven't got enough fuel. It was space euphoria, I think, from Ed and Jim McDivitt to everyone on the ground and mission control everybody. I mean, it was spectacular. The Gemini program was a brilliant success, with its purpose being that of a proving ground that would take humankind to the moon and back. On January 27, 1967, at the now-named Kennedy Space Center, astronauts Ed White, Virgil Grissom, and Roger Chaffee climbed aboard an Apollo capsule for pre-flight testing. Tragedy struck, taking the lives of these three brave men. The nation mourned its heroes and continues to remember Edward White and the other members of the astronaut corps who have lost their lives in the service to the cause. With each successful push of the boundaries of human exploration, Ed White's memory and legacy is honored. With his spacewalk, White ushered in a dominance of American space technology that has continued beyond that first jaunt to the moon, to Skylab, the shuttle program, servicing Hubble, building the International Space Station. Today, station, much like the Gemini program of the 1960s, stands as part of a proving ground for the next giant leap as we journey to Mars. Ed White is a name that will forever ring in human history. And it was Ed that said, This is the greatest experience I've just remembered.